hello everybody hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel welcome to be your own doctor yeah i encourage you to be your own doctor how do you be your own doctor by living the healthiest life possible welcome to another episode of health talks welcome back thank you for turning in thank you for subscribing please 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 if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is stephanie agbonkwai but i'm popularly known as the of zion thank you guys for turning in welcome to another episode so today we're going to be talking about oh another health series specifically bloating today we're going to be talking about bloating Oh, uh, the difference between bloating and belly fat and also uh, definition of bloating causes of bloating and remedies of bloating so stay tuned and please watch this video till the very end i realize people watch but they don't watch till the very end and they ask me questions which i've answered maybe in the end of the video so please watch the video till the very end okay there we go so bloating we're gonna start by defining what bloating is Bloating is a build up of gas in the stomach and in the stomach and oh, intestines. So bloating is a build up of gas in the stomach and intestines. So let's go now to that's the definition of bloating. We say bloating is a build up of gas in the stomach and intestine. So now let's move forward to causes of bloating. What cause people or uh, yeah, what cause people to have bloating or why their stomach so big? all right so bloating causes of bloating one talking while eating guys you got to be focused if you're eating you eat if you're talking you talk so talking while eating can uh, cause bloating also eating too fast can cause bloating the third point that we have here is smoking no not smoking smoking too can cause bloating um the fourth point believe it or not eating when upset can cause bloating believe it or not it has been oh uh, studies have shown that eating when upset can cause bloating the fifth point that we have as causes of bloating is overloading your stomach eating too much food drinking too much uh, ca uh, uh, um, carbonated beverages like soda you know that can cause you bloating okay the sixth point that we have here is eating too cold or too hot food such as hard candy you know so please you want to take that into moderation the seventh point that i have as causes of bloating is using a straw while drinking liquids please if you can drink liquid by itself without using a straw please do but if you can then you can use straw but if you can do it without the use of straw please do because drinking liquid with straw is gonna cause bloating to some people okay so um the eighth point that i have here as causes of bloating is drinking uh the eighth point that i have here is avoid swallowing too much air avoid swallowing too much air such as chewing gum you know chewing gum is gonna make you swallow uh, or inhale a lot of air no let me not say inhale chewing gum is gonna make you it's gonna inhale a lot of air into your stomach so please avoid chewing gum if you can you know chew it just for a few seconds or a few minutes and then you can throw it away i think they said that the the, the maximum time to chew gum i think if i'm not mistaken uh it should be about uh it should be if not i think it's about four minutes yeah so yeah i'm still gonna check on that but i know probably it's between four minutes or so so yeah at uh, the eight point that i have as causes of bloating is um avoid swallowing too much air by chewing gums and then the ninth point that i have as causes of bloating is uh drinking Oh, carbonated beverages sodas such as soda it can be uh fanta sprite uh, dr pepper what have you so please avoid swallowing too much air such as chewing gums and then the ninth point we have uh, drinking from a water pump can absorb air extra air from the atmosphere into your stomach so drinking from a water pump can absorb extra air from the atmosphere to your stomach so please that's the 10th point let's watch out on that okay the 11th point that we have here as causes of uh, bloating is uh eating a large meal we already talked about that right please eat meal in small quantities please 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 so the next point that we have the 11th point that we have is uh eating a large meal 
it in the last week like i did mention please you want to um reduce the quantity of uh, food that you're eating per time so please watch that and the 12 point that i have for my ladies is menstruation menstruation can cause you bloating to some people not all remember it said if it doesn't work for you it works for others and if it doesn't happen to you it happens to others so please menstruation to some people cause their stomach to be big or bloating okay so um the 13 point that i have here is constipation constipation or gas in your stomach gas in your stomach uh constipation can make your stomach bloat or bloating can cause a uh, bloating the 14 point that i have here is excess intestine gas excess excessive intestinal gas excessive intestinal gas is when your intestine is full with gas yeah so it can cause you to have bloating the 15 point that i have as causes of bloating is bloating happens when the gi tract becomes filled with air or gas so please um that can cause bloating the 16 point that i have as causes of bloating is food Food you eat also contributes to bloating because some food produces more gas than another. So please, you want to watch out for that. The number 17 cause of bloating is bloating can equally be caused by lactose intolerance, problems with dairy products. The 17 point, like I was saying, bloating can be caused by, uh, can equally be caused by lactose intolerance. So uh, you want to check out and find out if you're lactose intolerant or whatever be the case. So please, uh, po this has to do with problem with dairy product. If you know you are, uh, you are allergic to something or whatever be the case, then please don't do it. So the number 18 point that I have as cause of bloating is eating a lot of salty food and carbohydrate. Eating a lot of salty food and carbohydrate is going to make your stomach bloat to some people so please we're trying to avoid big stomach we don't want to have some big stomach just you know everywhere so please um eating a lot of carbohydrate and salty food is gonna make you bloated so please watch out for that the number 19 point that i have as cause of bloating is avoid uh to avoid bloat avoid bloat inducing food such as beans black beans and lettuce because they contain in yeah uh let me quickly say this the difference there's a difference between bloating and belly fat that i want you guys to understand there is a whole big difference between bloating and belly fat so what's the difference between bloating and belly fat bloating difference between bloating and belly fat with bloating only the stomach expands with bloating, only the stomach expands due to excessive gas accumulation. Bloating is localized, while belly fat is widespread. It's spread widely. So that's the difference between uh, bloating and belly fat. The difference between bloating and belly fat is that with bloating, the stomach expands due to excessive gas accumulation. Bloating is localized why belly fat is widespread so that's the short difference or the the difference between uh bloating and uh belly fat yes yeah, so the number 18 point that we have as causes of bloating is uh the number 19 point sorry that we have as causes of bloating is avoid bloat inducing foods such as beans and uh letter because they contain uh indigestible sugars called oligosaccharide oligosaccharide so please you want to watch out for that so the number 20 point that i have which is the last on my list uh as causes of um as causes of bloating is sweeteners sweeteners can also cause gas and bloating so please avoid sweeteners you know anything that is excessively sweet avoid it in all costs if you want to keep the shape if you want to keep your body shape if you want to be Feet. so please those are some of the causes of bloating so now let's talk about how to minimize bloating okay so we are just minimizing oh uh, oh uh, i want to say this these are to some people this is applicable but to some people it is not 
Yeah, so some people are due to medical underlying conditions, uh, you know, obesity, whatever be the case, it can be a medical uh, underlying condition. So if I say salty food, does not mean that the, the reason why you're having a big stomach is because of salty food. It definitely must not be that because you have to figure out what is causing your stomach big or bloating. For example, if you know that, okay, let's take for example that you tried that maybe it is too much salty food and you work on the salt and on the salt on your diet, the amount of salt on your diet and you realize that, okay, the stomach is gradually going down. Then, we, then you can testify that it is salt, salty food that is causing you bloating. Same like, um, what common example can I use? Same like, um, same like uh, carbonated beverages. Let's say soda. For example, if you know that whenever you drink soda, you, you become bloated or your stomach, you start experiencing big stomach. Okay, try reducing or not consuming soda and then compare the two. That is how you get to know that this is the cause of my bloating okay so one must not work for you but it can work for others so um have that in mind okay how to minimize bloating remedy and be talk to your doctor or a nutritionalist a nutritionist talk to your doctor or a nutritionalist about your diet if that is the case okay talk to your doctor or a nutritionalist okay uh food that Okay, so we say food that contains fermentable, fermentable or uh, monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide such as wheat, onions, cheese, milk, leeks, yogurt, you know, honey, apple, fruit juice, mango, dry fruits, artificial sweetness, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, legumes, green beans. Please, 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 please avoid some of this food. Yeah, it's going to uh, help you a lot. So food that contains uh, fermentable or uh, monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide, such as wheat, onions, cheese, milk, leeks, yogurt, honey, apple, fruit juice, mango, dry fruit, artificial sweetenings, cabbage, Brussels sprout, legumes, green beans, okay, you know, you want to try to uh, minimize this, okay, so chew your food well, another cause of bloating is not chewing your food well, so please chew your food well, also, the second, uh, how to minimize bloating, the second point is eat slowly and in small quantity or amount, the third point that I have here is increase physical exercise. Increase physical exercise. And oh, the fourth point that I have here is avoid carbonated beverages like soda. Soda like Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Fanta, you name the rest. There are just a lot of them out there. So you want to avoid that as much as you can. So the fifth point that I have as remedies in order to minimize bloating is try abdominal massage there is a specific massage that they call abdominal massage it's for your stomach around your abdomen it has to be done by a professional i didn't say you should go do do it because probably you don't know how to do it so it should be done by a professional so uh there's a professional for that there is a specific massage called the abdominal massage i normally go for it once in a while when i have money yeah it's called abdominal massage it's your stomach the massage sheet you know and you know by massaging it you send out um gas that is in your stomach all right so the uh fifth point that i have is try abdominal massage the sixth point that i have is go for a walk or stroll after eating sometimes it is very very wrong for i see people i'm you know guilty of sometimes but not all the time i see people after they have uh eating they go straight to bed that's not good it's not good for your health it's not good for your digestive system also when you finish eating after sitting down probably for a minute or so if you can take a walk take a walk if you can go out to stroll go out and stroll you know uh, go for a walk or a stroll after eating sometimes if you can so then uh seven point that i have as a way to minimize bloating is drink uh beverages at room temperature we talked about uh drinking beverages at um 
um you know too cold or too hot you want to make sure you're drinking them if you must drink them in a uh, room temperature the end point that i have is sit up straight after eating don't finish eating and you bend your head on the floor or lay down your head or lay on the bed or what have you sit up straight in an upright position like i'm sitting right now after eating okay so um the eight the seven no the ninth point that i have as a how to minimize bloating or ways to minimize bloating is um skip the uh, uh skip the gum and hard candy you must not chew gums if you don't have to so you uh, avoid hard candy too the tenth point that i have is don't smoke the almighty cigarette guys guys have you ever taken out of something I think in uh in about all my videos I didn't mention cigarette, right? I just realized that guys. So please let's stay off cigarette. It's gonna do us good. So the number eleven point, which is the last on my list on how to minimize bloating, is avoid using straws for drinking. If you can drink with uh from the cup directly, from the glass or whatever be the case, please do avoid straws. It's gonna make you have a big stomach and we don't want that please guys uh so that is all what i have for you guys today if you have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and you can inbox me with your questions on my email at bonkwaistephanie at gmail.com that is my last name my first name at gmail.com you can email me your questions privately or you can leave it in the comment section and also if you have a health topics that you want me to talk about you can please feel free to inbox it to me at my email address at bonkwaistephanie at gmail.com or you can leave it in the comment section below and you guys know I always attend to you as soon as I can. So please guys, thank you for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Please like the video, share the video. It might be of help to somebody, okay? Somebody might be going through blood now there and this video can help them a long way. So please... Thank you for watching. I hope you watched this video today. And then if you find something interesting, if you are guilty of one of the courses, please leave it in the comment section below. Let's talk about these guys. We got this. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all.